Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all for class 9. Today our subject is Max and topic is polynomials. Polynomial is very important topic in class 9 and 10. Before going to polynomials, we should know the basic of that. What are the basics now? The first is the constant. The meaning of constant is nothing but fixed value belonging to real numbers. Fixed value belonging to real numbers. For example, 2, 3, half, etc. It should be the fixed value. Constant's value will not change. It can be either ABC also. ABC also can be constants if we give. But what is the main thing is it should be the fixed value. Then coming to the next that is variables. What are variables? As the name suggests it varies. It varies. The, va the value will be changing. In variables the value will be changing. So for example x, y, z, u etc. Then the next that is term. What is the meaning of term? Mixing of constant and variables are known as term. Example, 2x. Here, 2 is a constant and x is a variable. Similarly, 6t. 6 is a constant, t is a variable. A, y square. A is a constant, y square is a variable. Now, coming to next what are all these things are included in polynomials? Polynomial consists of constant, variables and non-negative integers. This is very important to know. What are non-negative integers? Non-negative integers means it can be 0, 1, 2, 3 and all. Then what it shouldn't be there means root 2, root 5, all this if it is there then it is not said to be a polynomial. In polynomial there will be no irrational numbers. So in polynomial, polynomial consists of constants, variables and non-negative integers. That will be your first mean to identify whether it is a given equation is a polynomial or no. For that, we should just see and say that whether the given polynomial, given equation is a polynomial or no. Here, the standard form of polynomial. The standard form of polynomial p of x is equals to a0 x to the power of 0 plus a1 x to the power of 1 plus a2 x to the power of 2 and it goes on till the infinite that is a n x to the power of n. Now here what happens is a1, a2, a3, a4 are constants. x0, x1 are variables. That is how we define the polynomials. In that polynomial, degree of polynomial. The next is degree of polynomial. Now, you can see there are different exponents here in the given polynomial that is 0, 1 and 2. The powers are known as degree. Now, which is the highest degree of the given polynomial? Means degree of any polynomial is nothing but highest degree of the variable. Example, you can see the equation here, the given polynomial 7 plus 0x plus 0x square plus 2x cube. Here there are 3 degrees. Here it is 1, here it is 2 and here it is 3. Now if they ask what is the degree of the given polynomial? The answer is 3. That is the highest degree of the polynomial. Now coming to the next topic. Our next topic is coefficient. Coefficient is nothing but the number multiplied by variable. The number which is multiplied by variable. For example, what is the coefficient of t here? The coefficient of t is 6. That is nothing but the partner of the given term is known as coefficient. The number multiplied by variable is known as coefficient. The coefficient of x here is 2. 
the coefficient of y square is nothing but a that is how now in your exercise they have asked you uh, check whether the given equation is a polynomial or no so how do you identify you can just see the equation if there are any exponentials or irrational number then directly we can say the given per equation is not a polynomial if there are no irrational number then we will say that it is a polynomial the main form of polynomial is 5x y square minus 3x plus 5y cube minus 3 that is here what happens is what are the exponents 2 and 3 are the exponents the term here there are four terms how many terms are there four terms are there that is what i have arrowed here coming to the next term, if degree of polynomial is 1 then it is said as linear polynomial if the degree is only 1 then it is known as linear polynomial if the degree of polynomial is 2 then the given polynomial is quadratic polynomial and similarly if the given degree is 3 then it is cubic polynomial come back to here and say me whether it is which type of polynomial so in this the degree is 3 therefore the given polynomial is a cubic polynomial that is how we say that then we, what is the zero of the polynomial the next topic is find the zero of the polynomial we say that a zero of a polynomial p of x is a number c such that p of c is equal to zero here what they are saying is to find the value of the polynomial which be exactly divisible the remainder should be zero that is what it is known as zero of the polynomial find the value of polynomial where p of x is equal to 5x square 4x square plus 3 at x is equal to minus 1 they have given us the value of x just what you have to do is you should substitute wherever the x is there what we should write we should write minus 1 wherever you can see x just substitute by minus 1 p of minus 1 is equal to 5 of minus 1 minus 4 minus 1 whole square plus 3 5 into minus 1 is nothing but minus 5 here what happens minus 1 into minus 1 will change into plus 1 plus into minus is minus 4 ones are 4 and here it is as it is plus 3 now after simplifying minus 5 minus 4 is minus 9 plus 3 the answer is minus 6 this is how you are working in the exercise then coming to the next this is the exercise uh, 3.2 in your textbook this is the second main find the value of p p0 p1 and p2 now this is the given polynomial in the place of t first you should substitute 0 then second is 1 and the third is 2 all separately one after the other you have to find here you can see how I have worked. Wherever you can see t, first substitute 0. 2 plus 0 plus 2, 0 to the 0 whole square minus 0 cube. Any number multiplied by 0 is always 0. Therefore, the answer is 2. Coming to the next, that is p of 1. What to do? Wherever t is there, we should substitute 1 because they are giving us the value of t. Find P of 0, P of 1 and P of 2. So the second one is P of 1. 2 plus 1 plus 2 into 1 square minus 1 cube. That is nothing but 2 plus 1 plus 2 minus 1. Once you simplify this, you will get 4. Similarly, you should take P of 2. Wherever T is there, you should substitute 2. Then 2 plus 2 plus 2 into 2 square minus 2 cube. That is nothing but the answer is 4. This is how we are going to simplify the polynomials. Then today you are going to take your class work 
200 pages notebook and you are going to write polynomials as the heading and you have to do the exercise 3.1 and 3.2 in your classwork. 3.2 first and second main. We will follow in the next class the third main onwards. Thank you.